little late to a sneaky gym which the the day we are doing vlog week. Vlog week is the week where you're gonna see a vlog every day. I'm filming my whole week and then I have to edit my whole week. Then you'll see it. So <laughs> today is Saturday, start of vlog week. I'm with my friend and we're going hiking. I wanna use vlog week to focus on different editing techniques. So today we're gonna be focusing on snappy quick edits because my hiking videos tend to be really long and I wanna keep my vlog week videos under 18 minutes. My Google Maps is all out of order. I'm trying to get it together, but we don't, I don't have time for that right now. So let's just, let's just get going. We've arrived at Powder Canyon. I have brought her here. It's not as far from my house as it is from hers, so I was the one who drove. Have a look. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm supposed to lead us to where I came last time. There's a cute little hidden, hidden field grotto kind of situation. Are we gonna get there? I don't know. <laughs> It'll be pretty either way, but I do not know if I'm gonna remember the correct direction. I'm sitting here struggling with this microphone. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How did you get that thing off? Oh yeah, like, it kind of peeled a little, so I had to like stick the part that peeled back down and then the rest kind of came more cooperatively. She oh. has microphone muffs, because we're both gonna be YouTubers today. Yes, we are. <laughs> So, um, all hail, all hail my friend for getting us microphone muffs. I'll <laughs> leave her channel link in the description and you can check it out. And another thing that you can do while you're scrolling down there is go ahead and hit subscribe because another goal of Vlog Week is to work on my subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year and for the first month in 2022 we are behind. Y'all are falling behind. What's going on? So go ahead and hit subscribe so that we can get to our goal. I'll check back in with you when we get somewhere. Hopefully in the right direction, but we'll have to see. Hello, I discovered that we're in the wrong place. <laughs> um, we're not where I intended to go, but I like it here too, so it's fine. And we're about to climb up a very steep hill to get to the top and see the top things. That's it, I just wanted to say we're in the wrong place, but it's fine. <laughs> starting to remind me of Strawberry Peak. I don't know if y'all have seen that video yet. I don't know if I'm gonna edit it before this. But it's starting to remind me of Strawberry Peak. In some places it was just so steep through all these leaves. And it just keeps going and going. But uh, remembering now that I didn't bring any snacks so I goof. Usually I have like a granola bar and some protein. They didn't bring any, so I've got to be able to make it out of here without dying. Look at these. They're like hanging porcupines. Look at the, the way how all of these are houses. Let's see if my camera can focus on them. Maybe not. See how like those are houses? Like, that's a home. Maybe not. Maybe that's more of a mansion. But like all of these are places where people live and I'm just standing on top of them, overlooking their lives. And it just goes on for ages. Then it reaches the mountains and I'm sure there's more over the mountain and it's like, I mean, the earth is a circle so it goes on literally forever. Isn't that crazy? To see Target. <laughs> it's big enough to be spotted. <laughs> the status update. Come here, Ryan. I'm making it. <laughs> it's very steep oh. and we're definitely sweating out here. Definitely. But um, all but, is well. I'm grateful yeah. to be outside and you know to be able to get up here. Y'all know I like a hill. I do this to myself. So. <laughs> I don't, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> I usually just do one after this well you know keep it level keep it cool because otherwise I'll get too hungry and end up stranded out here but down a hill <laughs> we've made it to the top of 
where we were going. I didn't know we were coming up here. I thought we were going to be like way over there, but we're at the top now. I'm not really sure where we go from here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> not really sure where we go from here, but it's just a cool view as usual. Looking over the city, there's like a big, what is it, skyscraper building in the distance I can see. And it just goes on forever, really. It's crazy. There's cars, people living a completely different life. Do you ever think about that? It's, it has a name in German. Everything has a name in German. It's like, um, uh, uh I don't know, Sonder. When you think about how everybody has a different life that's like unrelated to yours and everyone's doing their own thing and you just exist but only to yourself i get those that feeling on airplanes on airplanes on airplanes all the time especially when you're in the window seat and you're coming into yeah because you're just you're looking at all the little cars and you're like there's people in those cars on the freeway and then the houses and oh <laughs> uh, yeah when i was a kid like i don't know seven six youngish mm -hmm. I was raised Christian so in trying to understand all of that I spent a lot of time thinking that I was the only person that was alive and like I could only like understand my own existence so I thought God had put other people there to test me uh -huh. so we talk about that in the church like being tested so I mm -hmm. thought other people were there like pretty much just to annoy me I love so that, that main God character see energy how I react <laughs> <laughs> and like around that age I just came to the realization I was like there's people in China doing things yeah. that have nothing to do with me and I'll never know them or never mm -hmm. know about them mm -hmm. and that was like my first time realizing like maybe I'm not the most important thing <laughs> I'm not the center of the earth <laughs> so I think about that sometimes like there's people just like someone driving one of these cars could be having literally the worst day yeah. and then I'm over here I feel like <laughs> we have found a horse stable. I didn't know it was out here, but it is, and I guess the horses... <laughs> I really haven't heard horses make noise before. The horse is not a paid actor. <laughs> I guess that they just, um... That one's so pretty. It's very, um, shiny. Very majestic. I guess I would say they get to run, but I don't know if they run on the trails or if they just kind of eat out here. I don't really know what the deal is, but there is a horse stable with like maybe 20 horses, 40. It it's might, a lot of stables. Yeah, there's a lot. And here's her friend who won't look at us anymore. I think his name is Hemi. Where do you see? Hemi. Oh, you know what? People rent these, I think. Oh, to ride. Like, owner hold, like a last name. I see. So it's like a stable that you run a spot for your horse if you don't have. Oh, uh, if you don't have a home stable. I hope people come here a lot. It's kind of lame to just leave your horse in a box for oh, no, days or weeks. So oh, your face is cheap. Oh, She has a bowl. We have bowls. I felt like I didn't feel like eating rice, so this was the only option somehow. I don't know why mine is brown. It's awesome. And I'm looking at a picture of the peanut butter jelly bowl, and even it is red. So I don't really know. Probably ended up here, but <laughs> we should only work for four days. Hello, I'm home. I was supposed to film shots of me like getting in the shower and stuff, but I just straight up didn't even do it. So I came home, showered, we've changed clothes. I'm sure you can't see it. Okay, but trust me, girl. I'm <laughs> I'm stretching a little bit just to try and mitigate being completely sore tomorrow but i'm also like not too worried about it i'm really tired and i just want to lay down overall we had a lot of fun honestly but i think we both had some stressors built up from just like our personal lives and everything going on so we talked about a lot of that stuff and 
I have a migraine from talking about it. I just went kind of overwhelmed right now. Which is like, I feel like there's been just a lot in my head lately. A lot swirling around, a lot of stressors, a lot of things making me sad. And I feel like I haven't really had a good way to express those things lately. Not that I like, can't express it, but I just, like, my, my body's not releasing it. Like, I can talk about it, but I don't ever feel like I get the full range of emotions through. I feel like there's more that I could or would do or say. And I feel like I just need a big emotional release to kind of let go of some of these things I've been thinking about and dealing with for the past while here. But I'm not quite ready for that just yet. So I will say it was helpful and it was nice to just, you know, <laughs> rant <laughs> to someone. Uh, we have fun together. So if you guys have seen her on the channel before. We work together. It's, we don't see each other very often for people who work together. <laughs> but when we do get around. We have our fun. Today, I hope I find the energy to edit a video and do some online shopping because I want to get a shelf. Uh, uh, I don't know if y'all could hear my back cracking, but ooh, she's cracking, girl. <laughs> I want to get a shelf and a trash can for my room, but as per usual, like most things, the shelf and the trash can are costing more than I want them to cost. So I'm trying to find the most cost-effective option for me, and it's just taking a minute, so I think I need some time to really weigh my options and figure out what I want to get. And if I even want to get it on this paycheck, because I also want new skincare, I have money set aside for new tires. I'm supposed to be setting more money aside for my Mexico trip that I want to take in August, but I just don't have money to set aside right now. But hey, that's adult life. Just stressor after stressor. After stressor, and you just, you let it all out on a hike with your friend. I don't know if I can touch my toes, my hamstrings are a little sore, but we're gonna try. Nope. I'm close though. Like, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Do you guys see my legs? Do you see? I don't know if you can tell how badly my leg is peeling okay there it is do you see how badly my leg is feeling it's been doing that for several days <sighs> it's from when i went to colorado that is in my vacation vlogs you can go back and watch those um from the vegas trip i got oh god i'm not answering you i got so tan and now all my skin is peeling and it's been doing it for ages i've been trying like physical and chemical exfoliants to get it to like go away but it's just not working so I don't know. Stop calling me. It is Saturday. I don't care what's happening. I'm not picking up. Hello again. It is 5 30. I took some ibuprofen for my headache so I can't lay down until 6. So um I went and bought some stuff online. I bought a shelf for my room so that I have a place to put my things. I also bought a trash can. Again, place to put my things. Bought some fake nails. Don't need them, but they'll make me happy. Also got nail glue and I got a ring light so that shots like this won't look like this. Um, that is my hope at least. I am now going through photos from my Vegas trip. I'm gonna edit a video of that, but I wanna just kinda get through some of the photos and the videos and see what I need. So I'll show you. My friend took a lot of them for me. So I'm just going through what she sent me. Any of them that I like. I'm moving them into my own folder. It's a bit of a process, but it's what I've got to do, so I'm willing to get through it. I don't think I'm the most photogenic, but I really tried on this trip, and I think I got better photos than I'm used to getting. It's not as bad as it was out there. Because I did kind of try and even it out a bit, but girl, it was So I got really dark out there. It was just really nice. Um, it was. Start here. The cave. Got a little picture moment. Little photo oh, shoot or whatever. The police came. I was like, girl, we're about to get arrested on the ocean. It was. It's a river. <laughs> but anyway, I was about to get arrested on the water. No, they were just coming to be annoying. Okay, so it is 7.30. I finished editing one video and fully edited another, which I'm about to export. I'm hungry. 
So we're gonna have dinner. I meal prepped for this week already, so I don't have to cook tomorrow. Praise Jesus. So I need to pull my food out so it can start thawing, but I'm gonna eat a frozen dinner tonight. Um, yeah, I've just been chill and editing. I feel much better just having quiet time to myself to just do what I want. It really helped. I was, girl, it was a sad, it was a sad moment, <laughs> but I've, I've pulled myself back together. So let's go get some food. One of my roommates just moved out and she took all her food, which I mean, it's her food. I'm not surprised she took her food. I just wasn't expecting to see the fridge empty. Okay. I'm from Georgia, living now in California. LA, actually, I live in LA. Um, anyway, they recycle here, which Georgia red state, it was blue this year. <laughs> it was, but it's usually red state. Um, anyways, I was very surprised to find that they recycled here. And one of my roommates was like, recycling's over there. And I was like, what, what do I put in there? Like, is it glass? Is it glass? Like what? But I, I, fi I figured some of it out. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> but they just got recycling bins everywhere. All the neighbors have recycling. Like, it's a little health conscious state. We love to see it, Georgia. Would you get it together? I don't really predict anything else happening tonight for the best because I'm pretty tired at this point, honestly. So I'm just gonna eat and chill. Um, thank you guys for watching. I am uploading tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and so on because this is vlog week. You're getting a vlog every single day of the week. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. I really don't know why you haven't, but it's right there. She's chilling. Go ahead and hit her. I'm gonna eat my dinner, enjoy my night. And uh, I did not peel that to vent. It got to peel to vent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on that too. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my evening into the night. Probably gonna stay up late tonight doing nothing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Until then, to live. Thank you for joining me for this first day of Vlog Week.